Hello everybody and welcome back to the mega modded <clears throat> Dead God Plus series. Oh my god, I'm sorry. I've just been chewing on a cube of ice and I'm dying. Why did I do that? I... <laughs> I've just been drinking cold water before starting because it's very hot. And because of that, there was a fan on in the background. I am hoping it isn't too loud. It's not picking up my mic unless I'm speaking, I don't think. If it is really bad, I'm just going to upload the video anyways and you guys can just complain at me a lot and call me a flaming moron. I will permit it. It is permitted unto you. And this time we get regular old Isaac. Okay. Oh no, okay. I'm gonna reroll because I wanted I wanna do the beast. Whoever we do, I wanna do the beast. Bethany, there you go. Bethany to the beast. Where are you, little Bethany? Hello. We haven't actually played as Bethany yet, but I wanna get to the beast because I want to try and unlock more tainted hearts because I like the tainted hearts. The fun and um, although they are quite strong, I do think they're really cool additions to the game, especially when you're unlocking them incrementally. So we will most certainly do that. I'm just gonna save my book real quick until we see this room here, just in case we get an active. We don't, but we do get a mimic. You coward. But Quince is great. And also Quince has one of my favorite re-sprites that we have. It's I didn't, I don't ever think Quince needed a resprite, but my god, it just looks so good. Oh, holy hell. Ah, the fast. Oh my goodness. I'm getting very scared. But I've just, I've just set out on a little adventure for myself um, a moment ago, and my god, was it worth it. For one, I went outside. <laughs> That's not the adventure. Um, but I cleaned my PC because I hadn't done it in a really long time. I've had this PC about two and a bit years now, maybe longer. And I've I've only ever cleaned it once. And since in this in this past year, I've had it in a new room on the floor for some reason. I didn't even think about it. And it has been collecting dust. It's a carpeted floor too. So it's been bad. And recently it started making some noises and kind of slowing down a little bit. And I was like, yeah, do you know what? Let's, let's check it out, because it's on the floor, I'm not really looking at it to see what the dust levels are like. Had a look. They were bad. <laughs> Very bad. So I bought a bunch of stuff for cleaning it. Oh, that's so nice. Thank you. Um, I bought a bunch of stuff for cleaning it, and it is awesome. It's so much better now. It runs so silent. The temperatures are about 10 degrees cooler than they previously were. It's awesome. Remember that Celsius as well. So that's a pretty deep, pretty diff, uh, pretty difference, difference, pretty big difference. Very happy about that. Um, and yeah, I'm just it, it, it was something I haven't really done on my own before. I normally do it with people or with some or just get someone that knows what they're doing to do it because I don't like messing with tech. As as much as I am a tech sort of person, the thing is, if I mess with tech and I break it, it's my fault. <laughs> so if I just give it to someone else and they break it, it's their fault. And I don't have to deal with the the, um, the issues of that. So yeah, um, it's kind of an intriguing room, I guess. Uh, but yeah, so I did that. So my question to you is, what have you repaired? And if so, if, 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 if you have, what is it? If you haven't, what would you like to learn to be able to repair? What would be a skill for something fixing, whether it's cars, computers, anything like that, that you'd like to pick up? If you don't know one already, I'd be intrigued to know. It's always uh, interesting to find out what pe what different skills people want to work. And I think I think that's a very practical skill as well. Just knowing how to. Um... I never knew that Expl Blasting Cap did that, but I'll take it. Um, it it's it's always a good idea to learn skills like that. I mean, to be fair, it's a it's a shame that like at school you don't learn more like valuable life skills. Because I, I remember like thinking when I was at school, and I'm sure many of you that are in the same situation now, like. So much of this crap I'm never going to use in my life. And guess what? Almost all the crap I never used in my life. Like, the only ones you really need is a basic level of knowledge of science. You really don't need that deep of a knowledge. You need a decent, decent knowledge of maths, I think. Even stuff like algebra. I think algebra, it applies in a lot of different areas that wouldn't expect it. And then English, you need a, you need a very good grasp of your own language. Um... And then obviously, if you're from a um, non-English speaking country and you want to speak decent English, depending on what you plan to do for work or socially, 
then I guess you also need to learn another language. But that wasn't the case for me, obviously. Um, but yeah, so it'd be interesting to find out what sort of skills you guys think that, that it'd be interesting to learn, especially about repairing stuff. But yeah, that's that's something that um, I've always been a little a little worried about. To be fair, there's another reason as well, because actually, um, my dad knows a guy that. Um, I used to go to, I don't anymore. Well, I haven't in a while, should I say. Not since I got this PC. Oh my god, another Mimic, but it's the Mulligan this time. I will most certainly be taking the Mulligan. Still no active, unfortunately. I did have a mod on for a brief moment of time that added, made, made the first room always be an active. I kind of wish I'd have kept that on, but at the same time, we'd be down a quince, and that'd be sad. Um, Yeah, I used to go to this guy that my dad knew. It was li literally just like an old guy. Like He was, he was like... Do you know, it's kind of difficult, because when when you're younger, I feel like, oh no, oh no, oh no, yeah. That was pretty much guaranteed damage there, unfortunately. Uh, well, it wasn't guaranteed, but for me it was. Um, I, I feel like when you're younger, um, you always see older people as older than they actually are. So, I don't actually know how old this guy was, but he must have been in his 70s. He was quite old. Um, but da, 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 da. Uh, do you know what? Let's, let's play Dividends into the future, or not. I was going to say buy Burgo Bombs, but game is like, hell nah. Um, yeah, I'm a little set sad that we lost our Devil Deal here. Well, it's not even Devil Deal, is it? With this character, it's an Angel Deal, so even worse. Do we get a uh, Quince per segment? We do, good, nice. We can get like a few, a few geezers set up here and there, that'd be nice. Okay, you're, you're trapped, sir. You're trapped. I mean, a HP up ain't bad. We'll pop that again. And we're just going to keep traveling down. We've got a trinket to drop when we need it. Yeah, we used to go to this old dude, and he was great. He, like, he was a really knowledgeable expert on, on PCs despite his age. Um, And he ran, like, this li little shop. And I mean little shop. It was, like, basically in sort of a industrial estate behind a bunch of warehouses. It was really hard to find. Um, and it was kind of literally like, at least from the user facing side, a single room. There was no like stock room to look through. There was no shelves or anything. It looks like a front facing desk and that was pretty much it. And you'd go in and you'd just be, you'd just be like, hey, I want a PC with all of these bits. And he'd literally price match Amazon. So no matter how much it cost, no matter how cheap it was on Amazon, he'd price match it on Amazon, um, which was, fantastic um and obviously i was willing to pay his prices because it's for um uh, like a local business anyways but he'd price patch anyways so that didn't re really matter um and yeah and then not only would he like thoroughly clean and build your pc make sure it's all up to snuff but he'd also do a week's worth of stress testing on it to make sure the uh the system was like up to the specs that you require sort of thing and and like up to what the system specs say it can do sort of thing uh, remote detonator, um, plus one wisp per bomb detonated. Wisp tears can also be remotely detonated. Interesting. I would have liked burger bombs, <laughs> but hey-ho. Ooh, what the hell is this shop? This is an interesting one. I mean, very cautious here, because these guys are getting hella close, and I don't want to lose my angel deal. You know how to do it. And I've now added another trap into the room for myself here. Sack there. Okay, this is not bad, not bad. Um, I think we won't keep a sack here. And I'm hoping the golden penny pays out enough to um, let us buy some other things. I might be tempted to pick up Mum's bracelet, you know. I, for one, never used it with um, this character. But also, it's just something that I don't use very often that I feel like it's kind of interesting. Come on. Two more pennies. Yes. Right. Um, let's have a look. Allows you to pick up... Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, single room wisp. Three wisps created where something lands. 10% chance for confusion tears. Love the idea. Seems cool. And it's a purchase too. We already got the five bombs from remote detonator, so I don't feel so bad about leaving it. Okay, we got all we can from that now. Cool. Is there a limit per room? There is not. Oh wait, no, there is. 
<laughs> I like this. I like this. And we can actually grab and save until the next room here. I didn't actually mean to pay into you, so... You're lucky you took my pennies. Let's grab a mushroom this time, because that could be a poison. Okay, we, we can't unfortunately pick up the spiked rocks. I mean, unless you can. I've never actually tried. <laughs> I do not know for sure. That was a bad bomb. There you go. That was a good bomb. Uh, we did get our angel deal. Good, good. Luck is uh, going up as well. We got a good amount of luck here. Oh, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Do, do, do. I don't know why I went a bit Canad Canadian. Canadian there. Talking about. But anyways, that's a bit spicy. That is a bit spicy. I do have a Discord message. One moment. One moment. Do, 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 do. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. Item room straight away. Beautiful. Halo of Flies. I mean, Halo of Flies isn't all bad. I just feel a bit weird that it's a quality 2 that essentially gives you the effect of 2 pills. Or maybe I should feel really good that the 2 pills gives you effect of 1 item. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about this. We got a penny out of that poop. I I kind of like this. Aw, for some reason I, try, I thought I could pick up a metal block there. That would be kind of nice, but... I think that would break some rooms, wouldn't it? Oh, you bastard. I just wanted to get in there and grab a rock. But And then it just spawns a bunch of these that can fire at enemies. This is cool. I mean, they're pretty weak, but... And they're only for the room, but... I like it. Excuse me. Give me rock. It's always been the one thing with this item. It, it can be a bit finicky to pick up rocks sometimes. Remember we've got Revelation as well. I kind of keep forgetting that. Just some hearts there. I will be using this as much as humanly possible as well. I mean, it does really good damage, so why the hell not, to be honest? It's actually quite tickety-boo. Okay, this is an eternal guy, so let's uh, not mess with him. Boom. <laughs> this is an item that I think um, when anti-bear... Wait, was... Damn it. This is... It... Oh. Please, someone make a mod that removes these stupid turrets. I hate them so much. I hate them so much. They hurt my brain. But um, when when anti Birth first came out, when we were all playing it and all like, young and excited about something new and cool, I think Mom's Bracelet was one of the items, along with like Red Key, where people were like, what the fuck? How the fuck did they make this? This is crazy. Oh, there you go. Not only a bunch of stats, but... A big old stopwatch on top. Hell yes. But yeah, I don't know. But I don't know what's causing it. But my game is running like a dream right now. I think cleaning my PC might have something to do with it. Because listening even now, it is silent. Absolutely silent. I love it. I want to see how I find a hearse and rip his head off with this thing as well. With the hearse, you can rip the skull right off of their face. It's kind of funny. Honestly. This is a really good combination of items as well. Um, quince plus mulligan. It's like mulligan triggers then causes quince to, to proc and then the quince kill the resto and cause more mulligans and it's just, it goes round and round and round. I think we've seen everything we need to see on this floor to be honest. Let's keep removing, although that looks vaguely secret roomy to me. It's not, it's not. Hmm. This could be two. It's not. That gave us a bomb back, though. I'll come back and get that in a moment. Could be here. There we go. We found it. Not a great one, I'll be honest, but not all bad either. And honestly, while I'm here, let's check this room. Oh, and then look at this. Someone turned one of those turrets into an enemy. Why? Do you want to go to jail? We have some red hearts available here, so let's go in here. God damn these rooms. Your soul allows you to get one free devil room. Okay. 
does not matter to us at all. We are locked into Angel Deals' this character from the get-go anyways. One thing that is kind of interesting is we currently have absolutely no way of using our Soul Hearts, which you may think is a bad thing, but I actually see it as a good thing because if we get to the late game and get a better active for the beast, because this is useless on the beast, if we get a better active for the beast, it's actually a really good thing because... Just create a bunch of these. Because we're just going to have a ton of wisps ready. And we don't, we don't have to actively save up for it because it just kind of happens. Just remember this guy splits into a fuckload of flies. I always forget that. So we're actually going to have loads of extra charges just saved up, ready to go. We're onto our second syringe as well, which is really nice. By the way, I do apologise if I'm snivelling a little bit. I am still a bit ill, which is really frustrating because I've been ill for ages now. It's very annoying. I'm trying to suppress it, but it is tough. But yeah, I think our tiers are pretty good too right now. we got decent damage from um, Keeper Sakaruni. Hopefully we get enough money this floor suit. Pop it again. I'm not taking pills at this moment because I'm just pretty fine with what we got going on right now. But yeah, it's been a bit of an adventurous day for me. I uh, had a nice little day out at the park. I won't say day out, but I was out for about two hours just because honestly the weather's been just fantastic recently, which if any of you know the UK is an absolute rarity. Um, it needs to be taken advantage of. Me Grab the rock. Oh my lord. Pick Pick up the rock, fool. It refused to pick up the rocks. That was very annoying. Uh, but yeah, it's been absolutely lovely, which is an, a, a real rarity in the UK, which is annoying because I love going to the park and just like having nice weather and being able to do things. But the I, I just want to say the game. I'm going to say the game's always like, no, that's, that's real life that you're talking about there, Turtle. Not a game. Sorry that you're lost in your fantasy worlds, but I also um, spent a good portion of the morning... Um, refining my Skyrim mods, which you may think, weren't you doing that like a week ago? Yes, yes I was, and in that time, how much have I actually spent playing the game? Very fucking little. Um, unfortunately, Skyrim modding is a cruel addiction, of which you have no control once you've started. Once you've started, you are pretty locked into it, um, and there ain't, much, there ain't much turning back. And you kind of end up just constantly tweaking and altering your mods list until you have some sort of abomination where or you have this you, you keep tinkering with it until you get this absolutely gloriously perfect mod list and then you play it for like four or five hours and then you never touch it again which is kind of why i want to start a series on it because uh it'll make me actually play it but i'm still tempted on the series i want to start it but I don't want to put effort into like starting a series and then not really get great reception. I want to know it's going to do well prior. So I want to get like good reception from you guys prior to starting anything like that. I'd really like to know how I've had a few people say they'd be interested, but I need like some good numbers letting me know how um, how they'd feel about that before I'm sort of comfortable with going ahead with it. Um, just yeah, at the minute I'm not a hundred percent. Wait, what? Um, one second. I broke the game. That was cheeky as fuck. Okay, one second. Well, I'll take this. Grants invulnerability to demon beggars and blood machines. When the machines are destroyed, um, the trinket is destroyed. Ooh, that's awesome. Um, yeah, that's basically. I don't know if you noticed what we did there. But I killed an enemy, spawned a familiar with Quince, then upgraded the Quince familiar, and thus got it for free back by bombing the machine. That is a little bit of a glitch. Most certainly unintended. Now, how does this work? Um, wait, let's, let's actually take a look. Cannot fire tears. Wisps charge in the direction you fire. Whoopsie. Hmm. That's kind of interesting. 
We are. I would take it, but we already have flight. I feel like, for me, that's enough to not want to take it. Also, let's leave our trinket here just so we don't forget to leave one. <laughs> let's just keep popping off. Bro. That. Rock. Honestly, having BFF with Quince is, a, is very, very nice. I just threw half a poop at that man. I threw half a shit at him. I only give half a shit. But yeah, like, I, I gotta say, it's something that I would love to do. And it's all failing that. I don't stream very often, but maybe if it's not got quite the reception on YouTube that, I, that I'd like to start up again, maybe I'll do it as a stream, and then maybe I'll upload the VODs to, like, my other YouTube channel. Um, but, like, by the way, when people hear other YouTube channels, it's nothing crazy. I have another channel called, like, Turtle Melon rather than The Turtle Melon that has one video on it that I used for experimenting once. And it's just kind of there. And it's like, I've not used it yet, but I might. Also, it's kind of interesting that both of these are the same champion type. Oh, wait, no, they're not. No, they're not. They were just very similar. Um, but yeah. So if anyone's wondering what that is. But yeah, so I might, I might do that also. If that could kind of be interesting. I don't know if people would want that. I don't know. It's just, I, I just really want a reason to play Skyrim. Because the thing is, like I said, it's very easy to sort of play it. And then I, it's, not, it's not even like I get bored. I don't get bored. It's that I kind of get distracted and then end up... Because it's a sort of story-heavy game and you got to get invested. I end up not really playing it much because of the investment needed to play it, like, properly. So, if I have a series going on with it, then I have to stay invested, if you know what I mean. <coughs> but at the same time, if it's a series that's going to, like, pull, like, 200 views or less, it's just not really worth it. I I'm hoping... If I was to do it, I'd really want it to get, like, ooh, yes, please. If I, um, if I was to do it, I'd really want it to get, like, 500 plus an episode, but I just don't know if it can pull those numbers. At least, like, 350, but... Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Steam sale, you say? I mean, to be fair, I would be kind of up for Steam sale just for the purchasing stats. But we don't need any of that. Right, we've got a cracked key in place. I will say, I'm not ultra confident on this run right now, because I forgot. I saw the full card, right? It was right there. Uh, 5.300.1. Wait, what? Spawn. 5.300.1. Yeah, I, I saw it right there. I was meant to blow it up and I just careened past it. Don't judge me. Like, we have Revelation, but our health is not great. If we get, like, Eternal Dogma, we're fucked. We should try, maybe, and do Boss Rush. Room stat up when killing enemies. Floor stat up when killing mini-bosses. Permanent stat up when killing bosses. Or... Dumpy. Now, Dumpy is pretty tasty, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this. Just because... I'm thinking permanent stat up when killing bosses. Does that work with boss rush? Because if it does, we're about to get a lot of permanent stats, right? That's my thinking. Yes, it does. And we're gonna kill some mini bosses here. Okay, depending on if we actually survive here, we might get stacked. Holy shit! All of- the, every single spider that he dropped counted as a boss. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. I wonder what stats we can actually get from this, but we are gonna get stacked. Oh no. Is all of these mini-bosses gonna count? All the splits? Okay, no. That would've been nuts. <laughs> 
We did get a one damage up from somewhere. No stat ups yet, so these guys aren't giving a stat up on split. I'm just. Ah, what the hell? Where'd that bomb come from? I'm confused. Ah! Fuck you. Yeah, I'm gonna need some hearts real soon, game. I have 16 range now, when did that happen? Okay, this is intriguing. Not really sure what to think of all this. It seems that we're not getting stats anymore. I don't get any stats for that guy. I don't know, it seems like some of them count as bosses and some of them don't for some reason. And it's a bit arbitrary. That is a golden key. That is worthless to us. Also, clutch in a huge room is, is scary, man. What else? Oh, we got a Mama Gerdy up here too. Are you kidding me? I do have a full card to get out of here if things go bad. Okay, y'all did at least. Okay. It seems my, my stat ups had, had a limit. Apparently the luck upgrades didn't, but... I think once, I've, once I had so many stat upgrades, it's like, wait a minute. This ain't right, and it stopped. Do I want burn hearts filled with rotten hearts? I kind of do. Pick up the rock, damn it. You throw rocks at me, I throw a rock straight back at you. Oh god. Eternal Fallen is scary. It's a lot of brimstones. I don't know what Eternal Pile does. I'm sure I have to be scared. Okay, he's falling rocks on me. And he's spawning Eternal Burnies too, which I do not appreciate. Oh my god. Scary times here. Okay, we've actually got some health now. Krampus is in the mix. Krampus is dead. We are actually killing pretty quick. We got more eternal bad boys. Oh god. Eternal Dark One fires a lot of shots. I have learnt this today. Okay, no carry um, eternal. It's good. Oh god, where did you come from? Please give me a black heart. I've hit you with my face, now you owe me a black heart. Not even the, aud the audacity of this bitch. I really like having the sins in the boss rush as well. I think this uh, expanded boss rush is a really good mod. For seven seconds, if you lack red health, you will generate but lose speed. Eh, that's not great. Oh lord. The siren is doing her thing. Oh god, I've just realized we have a fuckload of familiars all over the place. Siren, if you ought to stop your wailing and babbling, I could kill you maybe. Stop stealing my children. I don't even know what's going on with the other dude right now. I'm just hoping his feet don't land on me. Okay, good. I don't even know where he is anymore. Okay, there you go. He just decided not to do that for the entire time we were attacking Siren, and I am very appreciative of that. That would have been hell. Oh, what a reward. I can't believe we went through all that. Yay. Okay. Full card out of here. 
I will go and grab this additional heart in here, because why not? I'll also grab the devil card, because also why not? And I'm really hoping that this floor has some has some cojones to it. I'm really hoping this floor has the meat to pack a punch, because we don't really pack a punch. Also, we lost that damage, apparently. I don't know where I got it from, but I lost it. Why? Why would you move my bomb? I also moved that rock out of the way for the very like the very moment it would have been my cover. Stupid. Um oh I also lost a lot of that um I lost a lot on a lot of that uh luck as well. I will, because of that, do this. Grab one golden penny. Just to get myself up to fifteen, because I can buy an item and that'll give me stats. So. Oh, also, we can get to the secret, uh, the curse room from here. I did not realize. I found pills. Thank you for making me not have to deal with that iron block of terror. We're getting on okay. We're getting on okay. Revelation is kind of our, our carry factor right now. These are rainbow dudes. Hello. They dropped me a luck penny, so that's that luck retrieved. Thank you. Push pin. Give spectral and piercing to all familiars. Yes, please. Not a huge fan of this. Actually didn't go too bad. Right, still need to find the shop. Item room can go after. Oh, eternal version of that. Glad I didn't get to see what that did, because that could have been very scary. Okay, red candle I do think is better as well. Red candle gives us something. And also, what's the wisp factor on it? Single room wisp, red flame tears. Okay. Works for me, and then we buy that, and we buy that in the hopes of just more stats. Okay. Now we get gone. Keep my devil card with me for unknown reasonings. And away we go. Right. Let's look for item room on this floor. We've got a few different avenues of damage now, apart from our tears. We've got Revelation there to help us out, which is the main one, but also Red uh, red Candle. Interesting. Okay. Plus 50% damage, tears down, missing missing shots creates a shockwave. See, Nugget is kind of good, but tier rate to 2.5. Hmm. I'm going to take it because... Because, 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 because of the wonderful thing does. Because it doesn't affect Revelation at all. And we we still get that damage on Revelation. Like, the, the, the tier rate of Revelation doesn't change, but the damage of Revelation increases. So, I think that is a pretty good catch, actually. Puts us in a good spot. Puts us in a good spot. Right, let's keep going. M80. Also, I mean, it's just the explosions are kind of nice with this. I didn't expect them to work out as well as they are. There's this. Whoa, what the hell happened then? Multidimensional ba baby did some wacky stuff. Still a little sad to see we haven't got any additional HP, although there is like, I think, three or four rooms with guaranteed um, HP, although that's Soul Hearts. Soul hearts don't matter to us. Hmm. This might be a bit tricky. Oh, that, there you go. So we're going to take typeset as the other item. I'm glad I didn't because we literally just got basically typeset. But better. Good stuff. Damn it. And now we find the hosts.
So yeah, for red health, we're going to be... Just for health in general, we're probably going to be struggling here. Yeah, this is nice. I wonder if we can... Like, how does missing... Because it rewards us when we miss. How does missing work on the beast? I don't actually know if we can. Because our tears won't touch the floor, right? How are you not dead yet, sir? There you go. That tear effect always scares the hell out of me. Hey, little babies. Come on, Beths. My little Beth fellas. It's cool making gaps that we can't even reach, like, that, that don't connect. We're just kind of beaming through right now because I'm not looking for anything in particular. We don't really have the money to play beggars or anything. I've I, I realized that I just left a ton of money back there, but shush. God damn it, game. Why do you make me have to waste my time playing this beggar? I'm going to have to now. I don't think I've ever seriously played a Rotten Beggar. Because they never give items. Oh, they do give Burn Hearts, though. I forgot about that. Also, a very good trinket that I forgot this guy could give us. This paid dividends, didn't it? This this was good. This was very good. I forgot he could pay out with Fishtail. Fishtail's insane for us right now. I wonder if we can keep this Burn Heart alive. Okay, good stuff. Come on, give us a red heart. Give us a red heart, baby. That's all I need. I hate this guy. Broken Murdom plus him is nice, though. Okay, that was good. Hmm. Change your stats each time you take damage. That could be good, but I don't know. I kind of like my stats right now. What if we get a big fire rate increase and a damage down? That's actually bad for us. Where's all the health at, game? Where's all the heckin' health at? One moment. Okay, no worries. Let's carry on. Come on, one heart is all I need. Sorry, sir, that you had to go that way, but I was destroying the poops for hearts, and I was not rewarded for my efforts, even slightly. Come on. We have seven luck. We should be able to find a single heart. It's really not that big of an ask. Taken care of. Did I leave any hearts in here? No. Ooh, there is one of these, though. It's not exactly great, but extra charges, I guess. If we need them for something. Okay. This is getting ridiculous now. I mean, the, there is a bed when we arrive, so... If we don't get one, it's not the end of the world, but it's still like... God damn it, I'm so annoyed I lost the burn heart, but honestly, for a two damage up and knockback, I'm actually okay with it. You son of a bitch! You son of a bitch! Right, we need to do this. 
And we've unlocked the Zealot Heart. <laughs> and a bit of range. We do have an extra life at least, but I'm not all that confident, I'll be honest. Especially if this is Eternal. This one isn't at least, that's good. Damage is actually pretty good here. Broken Murdom's gonna help as well. Damn it, I'm in the I'm in a really bad spot for this brimstone beam. Yep. It hit me twice, you've gotta be kidding me. Three times in a row? Can you fucking stop, my dude? Holy hell. Chaboy's gone crazy. Oh, and of course you could do this attack right off the bat, aren't you? This is actually a really annoying attack with Broken Murdom. Because him leaving the tears basically directly gets in the way of my pathing. Okay, he is dying reasonably quickly. We will get some healing when we go to the beast fight as well if we make it through this. Which I reckon we will. I think Inner Child revives you in room as well. I love the fact that we just left debris all over this dude's bedroom, or like, living room. <laughs> we destroyed the flooring. I'm sorry. Oh god. Okay. I don't know what this d guy does. Also? Also? As you can see, unfortunately, this has very much broken our um, tactic of bombing everything. I mean, it still does good damage, but not as much damage as the explosions also. Got hit by a tier that I didn't see at all. Ah, uh, broken murder. Thank you for that, sweet child. Holy shit, this guy fires a lot of tears. Broken Murdom is going to get me killed. I can feel it. Now, not every one of these will be eternal. They could be, but they, they, they shouldn't be. Okay, good. Okay, we've got all of our, um, all of our familiars out now. We've not got amazing ones, I'll be honest, but some of them are firing in the right direction. Others don't seem to be bothered. God damn it. This is going to be tricky. I mean, I've, I've received... Oh no, I thought I'd received healing. I just received half a heart of damage from somewhere. I don't know why, where I got half a heart of damage from. These little dudes are firing out tears now and again. Do you know what? He's eternal too. I'm just trying to get the, the fires in place that he has immediately decided to destroy. Stop destroying them, you bastards. I thought I was smart and the game was like, nah. At least we got a lot of uh, nails in the uh, in the old ring right now. Okay, now we're like a mini flamethrower. We charmed him apparently.
Yeah, just don't let him get close enough to destroy our wisps, then we've got this just constant stream of fire. Which I quite like. Oh no, this attack always hits me. See? <laughs> he just like fucking telefrags you. No, 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 there's a heart there, you bastard. Why? Why, game? I have to say, it's not looking particularly good for us. We've still managed to charm this dude again, which is odd. Also, Broken Murder making this uh, significantly more difficult than it has to be, because there is still scythes on screen. They're just sticking around. One second. Apologies about that rogue phone call. Um, but yeah, this is not good. Um... Unfortunately, Broken Modem is um, screwing me over and over and over again, constantly. I'm hoping Broken Modem doesn't mess up this stage too much, because I feel like it could. I'm hoping just to not lose too many wisps here. We're doing great damage, though. A lot better than I thought we would be. Now, this section's a bit flimsy. I don't really know. I don't know how we're going to do here. He is not eternal, which is probably for the best. We do have a lot of bombs. Okay, just keep bombing him for now. Wherever we can. Also, use the fires when we can too. We've not got a ton of bombs to play around with, so it's not going to carry us forever. Okay. And that's all of our bombs gone. Ooh, Broken Murder is helping a lot with the fires. A lot. <laughs> he basically just... Broken Murder is deleting so many of them, but also freezing him so often that they basically never reach us. This is good. This is very good. Wasn't expecting that. Okay, last phase. We, we might actually be just okay here. Just fine. All we gotta do is focus on the stalagmites. Oh, this fight is so fucking cool. <laughs> I know I've done it like so many times at this point, but goddamn, it's so cool. This was a rough one. This was a, a difficult victory, but we got there in the end. I think having all these bombs at the end certainly helped out a lot. But there you go. We did it. Oh, I forgot we had Revelation that entire time. Like, literally the entire fight. <laughs> completely forgot we had revelation my god anyways i hope you guys enjoyed that and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one